Look, over there. Do you know this? When I was here before, I saw something that looked like a force anyway. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready? Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're gonna feel about it now. You would try to force these primordial beings into submission? Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? Gotta be close. I can hear the force. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Angel arrows don't work on that.
Something ahead. Be ready. It's a phantom! Right side! Farther! <laughs> Gotta be him. We will ask. Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't... We deal with these first. Oh! Another one? Focus! He is the guardian of this realm. It is his right to defend it. Oh. 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 
won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left on him. Why won't you help us? I don't... want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Got her heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? Put those in here. 
and I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. Where do we go? Spark of the world. Which is? The place where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Whoa. Uh, Serger? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic. Primordial stuff. With that and your blades, and my heart will be good. I'll get you big, smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Don't know. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn, right? Yeah. Then we're good. Sorter, were you here at the beginning of everything? Yeah. What was it like? Loud. So, here it is. The spark of the world. This is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gjallorhn. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that too. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes... Loving someone is about... Choosing... The lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. Promise... You'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blade is gonna be enough to create this new you? Sinmara's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those glades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here.
This will hurt. this is going to take. Oh. 
Hear that? All we have to do is call him with Gallarhorn when we're ready. Let's head back to Moose Farm. We can take them. In. Way back from there. It worked. I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win. Grow is right. Grow failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. Strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. Earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. Ah! Ah, they're on, they're on. More of Odin's forces. <laughs> Trying to finish the job is about to restart it. Trying to grab her. <laughs> fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. place is going to fall apart if those keep happening. Yar aren't gonna stop attacking anytime soon. We need to get back. <laughs> the co 
quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. Sigil arrows can break through their shields! <laughs> Ragnarok is here. They know what that means for Asgard. Father, I know we're doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It will be worth it. to a certain Vanya Nupti did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? This is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can. Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time.
So, sounds like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want some more involved. So instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok Beast, we did a work around the left rabbit. All the armies probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Yes, I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin will believe what's coming for it. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that. They are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air. And with Hel's army for a vanguard... What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, come here. Please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. wood for his village. Every evening he wore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. Hmm. 
You are quiet. I have nothing to say. No. Say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. I do feel your absence. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
hope to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Appreciate it. Time to cleave some hair. Now those are some angry knives. look like a toothpick! And a little one? Hmm, know what you want? Let's make some magic! Big softy, you can thank me after, uh, if, uh, if we all come through the other end of this thing. I will. Woo-hoo! Looking good! It fits. Now go show it all. to be very impressed. It fits. Woo-hoo! Looking good! Now go show it all. Armor nice and bloody. Woo hoo! Looking good. A good fit. Let's 
Let's make some magic. Tiny feller need. What do you need, handsome? Prepare to be very impressed. Good luck out there, General. I believe. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General.
I came to these lands to escape my past, to start a new life. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered enough. No matter the cost. This ends today. And going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too? And that's where I'll be. A big fat smile on my face. Rock. after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You've got to stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. Wait. Ingrid, we don't have time. I know. work to do. You three, follow. Atreus. Freya, with me. Watch our flights. To the war machines. This way!
Angry Boda! I knew you'd show up! Incoming! What's our next plan, brother? We have no other plan. Our focus remains on the war machines. We should head for the flaw behind the Asgard Tower. Without Ragnarok, it's our only chance to break through the wall. Priestess Flaw! You said only Sutton knew how to use it. Let's say I was wrong. Use a shield, brother. Here it comes. Enemies to your left. The war machines. We use them to breach the flaw and strike the city with our allies. Sounds desperate. Good. Desperation is our advantage. Would have preferred a realm destroying fire giants, but I suppose desperation is better than nothing. <laughs> New Valkyrie Queen is gone. I would think so. Well, we must hurry. Running out of 
armies. Looks like the giant giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Rally all you can. We will make for this funnel of Hunt Tower. So what's the plan? How are we gonna break the world without Ragnarok? The war machines. Oh! So, we're pretty desperate, huh? <laughs> I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Zin, we... Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants. what you wanted I, I didn't want this no close your heart to it close your heart who are they my 
and guardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice. Everything. What are you doing? Son, listen closely. You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today's. Today. We will be better. But. What can we do? See the size of that thing? Well, I think we're gonna win. Tell me if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice. Not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. Shut up and fight.
Thank you. No, I just want... I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. You really had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. <laughs> Sindri, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. I is Gilder okay? Have, have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because... he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What... He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. The Guardians, Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it... It has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? Thrude. I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. You don't owe him your death. <laughs> no shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally.
great lodge. That's where we gotta go. Listen to me! You have nothing on your watch! 
Try to hurt her! I would not. Don't you know... ...what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? We don't change. I destroy us. No more. No more. For the sake of our children, we must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk! You don't think! I think you kill! It's a simple fucking concept! Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill! I did not want this. No! Rude. This was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Your own son? Your granddaughter? Why? No, it's oh. gonna be fine. I saved her. Oh. Oh. And Thor. That one's on you. You turned him oh. against me. You turned oh. them all against me. Oh. Oh. Let me 
Was this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I've spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! <laughs> That's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. <laughs> oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. <laughs> Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know... You've never loved anyone! Real Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Groa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation, unfold. The secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! So be it. Attack! You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Chris? So have I! Too late for that! Fly! 
our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apfra, Desu. Sofna. 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 Sofna.
we do with him? I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Ragnarok. He's here. supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Hare. I should find my father. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Hush. Throat. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor, he was, he tried, you know? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, 
It was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and Throod. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Were either of your weapons damaged in the battle? I think they're fine. Maybe a couple nicks here and there. Well, we can have a look at later. Huh, Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she... Killed it? Re Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyer fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh, when we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true, and incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Are you safe, you? I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya, it was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And... Well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Ah. I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildesvini.
And it's nice down here, huh? No loud noises. We're okay. You did so good today, boy. I'm so proud of you. Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions? I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok, you promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. I don't all open. I'm sorry. If 
Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but... I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust? Who to call friend? Son. You are ready. Remember. Our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains.
your mother. Well... One I had never imagined. And what now? Fair. We should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess. Your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos. She hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us.
We can hold a few dozen per camp. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although there won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General, Lady Freya. Vanir. My lady. Shield maidens. Bless the war. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? first we could take care of any lingering business in the realms or investigate those pieces of asgard either way we are with you brother lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get together to honor brock's memory at rab's tavern and svartalfine i'd like to go Something is on your mind. What is it? Freyr's soul. I'm glad he got it back. Oh, he stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics. Know anything about the frozen dragon? It was Baldur's. He took Atreus, tried to escape with him. We fought on its back. The things he put you through. Odin gave the commands. The plane is his. <laughs>
Freya, you spoke of your brother's sword. How did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin uh, disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freya from his sword. <laughs> oh, with embarrassing speed. <laughs> I am glad Freya ultimately retrieved it. Me too. My little fool. Impressive. Hmm. And what about Freya? Prepare to be very impressed. Make some magic. My lady, what can I do for you? You need any more? Y'all know where to find me. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. We're meeting at Rab's Tavern in Nithervalir. We will be there. Mamir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Kildasfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Krasfelger. Enough. We will continue later. There's more of these Asgard fragments out there. The Einherjar will continue to be a nuisance for the realms. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? Only one way to find out.
I see another realm tear from Garm. Shall we close it? The Norns are quite done with us, brother. Kratos, tell me of an adversary from your homeland. It will serve us well if I understand more of your battle tactics. Hmm. There was Medusa, queen of the Gorgons. Her gaze turned men to stone. A mirror would turn her own powers against her. Or, you may remove her head, but that is the hard way. Which did you choose? The hard way. Forget I asked.
Mimir, now that we have a moment, can I ask you about... to Helheim with Hildesvini? Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he'd hold off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Mimir, what exactly did you promise the large bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. Old, we will finish later. As I was saying before about Class Falcon. Oh. What is that? A gravestone. No doubt a berserker awaits. Old. Prepare for a fight. Frank is a villain. Please! That doesn't belong to you! Oh! 